Hey everybody, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to talk about networking gear and just uh, talk about how in lighting networking every year becomes more and more part of our world and maybe you're a sound guy, whatever, you know, if, if you're watching this you're thinking about networking and, and I think about networking a lot because it's something I run into more and more in lighting but if you go out there and just kind of do a Google search about networking and, and try to figure things out, you can find resources that are all over the place. Things that are for the networking professional that are way over my head. You know, things that are way low that are like plug in the internet to the computer. And well, I don't mean to insult you if, you know, that's the level you're at. That's fine. Um, I do just want to talk today about some different networking parts and pieces and, and how to find the right gear you need um, for a lighting network. So if you're working with lighting, you're probably going to run into ArtNet or SACN protocols, or maybe you're running a console network uh, with a proprietary protocol like uh, MaxNet, MANet, or uh, whatever KMSYS uses, or HogNet. You know, something like that, okay? You might be doing that. Or, you know, so you got one of these protocols running, and you want to hook things up so what do you do you go down to the big box store to the the rainforest online whatever you buy yourself a router right you hook everything up to the ports you do some wireless and uh, you know you want to be done right and truth be told sometimes this works but as you get to have more traffic and, and need potentially more configuration or if you're in a really congested airspace this little guy from the store isn't gonna cut it and there's a few things I actually do want to point out about networking gear when we look at a unit like this. So this is a little TP-Link router. Um, I've had it for, gosh, probably four years now or so. And so it's, it's getting a little out of date, but it's still usable. And it's actually a couple different things, okay? So this is a router. And a router, in a nutshell, when it comes to the, the IT terms, the real definition of a router is it's a device that connects computers to the open internet and the the full definition in IT speak is a little more complex than that but for the basics the router is a device that connects your local network to the internet and a, a home router like this, this is just a basic home router I literally paid $25 for it like four years ago uh, something like this contains a few other things the wireless part of the router the part that allows you to get wireless uh, signal point to the antenna somewhere you can actually see it is an access point so when you start getting into more professional grade networking gear you're gonna see that the router is generally separate from the access point okay so this is the access point you know the wireless bit is the access point and then last on the back we've got multiple ports where we can plug in different different computers you know nodes um, you know, pixel controllers, whatever you've got on the network consoles, you can plug those in here. And this part where you basically have what's like a DMX opto split, you know, where it's just repeating the data and sending it back and forth between these ports is actually a switch. And so uh, a basic home router like this is actually those three things, right? It's a router, but it's also an access point, and this is a enterprise level ubiquity access point that I use on shows. Um, it works really well, it can handle a lot of traffic, and uh, I'll link to it below just in case you're interested in upping your, your access point game. Um, so that's the access point, that's the router, and then there's also a switch, which I was going to unplug mine, but I don't want to lose the internet while I'm recording this to my computer, and so selfish me. Um, but regardless, <laughs> um, it's those three things. It's the router, it's the access point, it's the switch, all in one. And so as you begin to work with lighting networks, you may find, especially on a smaller network, it's actually pretty easy to just set all your stuff up with static IP addresses and um, run it through a switch together. So you may not even need a router in a lighting network you may not even need an access point unless you need to get wireless control which may or may not be a priority for you and so you know my point here is just to kinda showcase really quickly here in a short video some 
different parts and pieces that that you need to make a lighting network work and as always you know as we're working with these protocols and you're you're working with lighting consoles and, and things like that it's always a good idea to try to run as much wired as you can when in doubt run a wire the wireless has come a long way and, and enterprise level gear like this ubiquity you know i can use that in testing situations to run my console fully wireless i can use it to run you know network protocols to to nodes uh, like this Entech ODE and um, you know I can do all kinds of stuff with it but just you know kind of my my thought on networking uh, from my experience is if you can go wired you know do do that because it's it's always a safer bet wireless could always be the backup for that so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on the basic networking gear I'm hoping I'm gonna be following it up soon and um, I've got some plans to follow it up with some more information on networking. Um, but if you want the full guide, details, and, and all that, I, I'm going to link to a post on Learn Stage Lighting here that's on networking. And I'm also going to link in that post to the full action plan in the Learn Stage Lighting Labs, which is called Networking for the Lighting Person. And in that action plan, I go over everything you need to know to get the gear to be able to network how to hook it up, and best practices to do so. So check that out. Um, it's going to tell you all the technical stuff, the IP addresses, subnet masks, all that stuff, all in one place. So that's inside the Learning Stage Lighting Labs. You can catch that in the post and in the links below. I'll see you guys here on YouTube. Thanks.